All righty. Well, <sighs> got a juicer for Christmas. And what have I learned so far? That stuff tastes nasty if you don't do it right. So from this point forward, <laughs> there will be no juice juiced <laughs> without a definite recipe. Now I did a little experimentation. Obviously I just got the darn thing and I was just playing around with it. I did pull down some recipes and uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> the experiments that I've done with it so far uh, have been less than successful. We spent an awful lot of money buying a lot of vegetables. <laughs> a lot of vegetables and a lot of fruit to come up with very little juice <laughs> to taste really nasty. So, uh, if you're going to juice, which is very, very healthy for you, make sure that you base your drinks that you make off of proven recipes. And uh, one of the things that I've noticed in most of the recipes are there are apples in the recipe uh, or sweet fruit. And most of the time it's an apple or 15. And... No matter what, I would probably recommend whatever it says is the apples get twice as much. Uh, I did follow one recipe by Dr. Oz, and uh, or at least I thought I'd follow the recipe uh, for the Dr. Oz green drink, and the it was just overpowering with lemon uh, lemon juice. Uh, just it was bitter and and hard to even even consume. I did, and if you actually uh, checked out one of my previous posts, I had put a a, a bunch of Tabasco sauce, or excuse me, um, uh, I was trying to figure out what that noise was. Rabbit, <laughs> yeah, pet rabbit, pet rabbit. So. Anyway, not a rabbit running through my house. No, just a pet rabbit we have in a cage, and he's he, she's making uh, making a little bit of noise over there. Anyway, um, but if you're going to get a juicer, uh, first of all, understand that there's uh, some expense. Uh, it's very very healthy, but there's some expense uh, and probably a great deal of expense buying all of the fresh fruit, the fresh vegetables that it takes to juice. And uh, if you're going to do it, you need to follow recipes so that you get good juice out of it. Um, luckily, I do have a couple friends who are also juicing. Uh, there's plenty of references on the internet. And, um, you know, just as long as you're following some recipes, you're going to have better luck. Uh, I played around with it a little bit because I'm just so curious about it and how it works and everything. Um, but uh, that's... What I've learned so far is uh, work off a recipe. Now, uh, as far as uh, the diets that, that I've been going, and I say diets because I'm kind of under this uh, notion that, um, well, and I think this is one of my biggest points, is I think most of dieting has to do with overcoming plateaus. And, and what I mean by that is <clears throat> if you try to do the same thing every day, your body gets used to it, and your body starts to uh, get into a rut, if you will. And so right off the bat, one of the things that, that I was prepared and willing to do, and, and actually sounds more interesting and fun to me, is to change it up. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, some of the pieces of the diet I won't repeat uh, for example, the 24-day the AdvoCare Challenge was awesome to start. I uh, lot, had lots of energy. I feel good on it. Um, so uh, that's something that I'll probably repeat. Um, but if I were to every day wake up, do the exact same thing, what my body will do is it will go into a, oh, this is normal and uh, uh, regime and then it will will begin to kind of backslide or at the at the very or at the the very uh, least just stay the same 
which obviously if you're, you're dieting, you're trying to lose weight, that's not what you want to do. So I'm, I'm kind of rotating through uh, different diets uh, that I know have proven successes with them and my purpose in that's because I I don't I, I want to keep my body guessing I want it to to continue to make forward progress uh, one of the things that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be bringing the exercise equipment in from the outside we have um, we have a uh, treadmill and we have a uh, uh, I don't even know what to call it, but uh, it's got a name on it, but uh, a, a stomach exercise machine. And so we're going to go ahead and bring those in from the garage because they're not doing anybody any good in the garage. I don't go out to the garage to exercise. There's no room in there anyway because we have all our stuff in it. So we're going to go ahead and bring those in inside, uh, give them a place so that we have um, no excuses. And... We'll uh, set that up, and, and so who knows? Maybe some of these recordings will actually be from our <laughs> for, while we're exercising. Um, but that's one of the things I really haven't done at this point. I have done some walking, not enough, not consistently enough, and uh, for sure. Um, I do know that I felt great and positive about myself on the days that I did walk and take those brisk walks, but... It hasn't been consistent enough to do anything. So along with the dieting, like, uh, you know, changing my lifestyle as far as the foods that I'm intaking and the things that I'm not accepting into my body anymore, I'm also going to need to move more, as we've talked about. And so <clears throat> if you, you know, if you want your own challenge, just think about it. If there is exercise equipment that you have around the house that is sitting in your garage or sitting under your bed or whatever, it's not doing you any good. Get the darn thing out and start using it. So, and by all means, guys, I'm not I'm not perfect. What I'm doing is is I'm trying to in, inspire you by just telling you my story, uh, just keeping you up to date with with what I'm doing. Who knows? Something may may spark in you. Uh, just like there's a lot of my friends on on social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and whatnot, who are they're running, they're doing marathons, they're exercising each day. They they inspire me. And who knows? Maybe, maybe somebody will, um, you know, take my story, and and that is what gets them off their butt, gets them off off their rear end, and gets them to start taking care of themselves. Uh, personally, I want to be sexy, and uh, I'm not feeling too sexy uh, being fat. And uh, just to be honest, so I want to do something about that. And the way to do something about that is to stop doing what I've been doing that made me fat just eating every damn thing every time that I, I feel like it, that's not doing me any good. So um, my points here are uh, I'm, I'm juicing, but I uh, haven't had much success with a juicer yet. Um, I'm rotating some diets, and we're going to get the exercise equipment in the house so that it can actually get used. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave this uh, blog post uh, with that, and uh, we'll, we'll go on to some other things. I will see you soon. Love you.